At ArcGIS 10, this system will allow you to enable GIS professionals and programmers to deploy web applications and accomplish their jobs faster and easier. I will demonstrate how ArcGIS Server, using ArcGIS Server, you can create mashups, publish GIS services, and use time aware layers. To enable organizations to rapidly deploy web applications, we will be providing an out of the box client that is easily configured. This application is written with the ArcGIS Server Flex API and allows you to visualize your data as well as do analysis and ask focus questions against your authoritative information. An example of a geoprocessing tool that we can utilize is an extract data service. This extract data service is something that a lot of organizations want to do. You need to be able to allow users to have access to download data from your websites. So this extract data service allows me to go in and specify an area of interest, as well as the data layers that I'm interested in, such as ranger stations, trailheads, and trails for the uh, Yosemite National Park. I can also specify the format that I want the data downloaded for me, whether it's shapefile, file geodatabase, GML, or even DWG. I select extract, and what's happening on the server is it's packaging up the data that I've requested and placing it into a zip file for me to download to use locally. So once I'm presented with that dialog, I can save that, inf that zip file to disk. So let me just show you how quickly I can create this particular extract service. In the past, users have had to write code to actually create a clip, zip, and ship or extract service to be used in their clients. Well, now, out of the box, we can create a map document that contains the data layers that I'm interested in my customers to download, minus the world topo map, base map that I use just for visualization. Out of the box at 10, we're providing a couple tools in your toolbox. One is called the extract data and email tasks. So if you've got a lot of data and the user just wants it emailed, you could have it emailed to that customer. Or the extract data task that I utilized. All we need to do if I want to change this model is change my configuration parameters for the input, save the model to disk, and drag and drop it into my table of contents. Once in my table of contents, I save the map document and I publish that to ArcGIS server and I'm ready to go and utilize this in any client that I wish to develop. It's that simple. We continue to extend the ArcGIS system based on advances we've made across the whole platform. An example of this was Charmel's number two in her countdown list in case you were paying attention. And that was enabling time on her data layers. I can take that same information once published to server and consume that in my web APIs. So using the JavaScript API, I've built this sample application that allows me to play back that fire history. I have a component called the slider control that is easily configured within my JavaScript code to allow me to play back that fire history information. I can play back, pause, step forward, step backward through time, as well as extend my time window of what I want to display. I can also identify a particular fire that I might be interested in and, again, see that additional information associated with that fire. We also continue to listen to you and are striving to make the system easier. We're doing this by creating several out-of-the-box templates that allow your developers to download these templates and make simple modifications to get web applications up and running quickly. These templates will be available through the Resource Center. An example of one of these templates is the ability to turn layers on and off out of the box. Another is an overview window. But then I can also add additional maps that I want to view or create my mashup. For instance, I'm going to zoom in and add that Yosemite National Park map that we've been looking at. As we zoom into the valley, I can see additional layers turn on. 
And as I pan and roam around the map, I get a very nice user experience because this information is cached, because it's base map data. I can also bring in that nice geology map that Charmel showed as well and be able to pan and zoom around this particular map. At 10, we focused on your feedback and making the system easier. We worked to extend the powerful APIs, Flex, JavaScript, and Silverlight, to allow you to be able to rapidly deploy your web applications using either our out-of-the-box configurable client, the sample templates, as well as extra components that you can configure. This way, you can build exciting web applications to share with everyone. 